In vitro fertilization, or IVF, is not always successful the first time it is attempted. In the IVF process, eggs are retrieved from a woman's ovaries after taking ovarian stimulation medications anywhere from 10 to 12 days typically. Once the eggs are retrieved and fertilized with the sperm sample, the embryos are created and the best of those embryos are transferred back into the uterine cavity. Remaining embryos that are of high quality can then be frozen or cryopreserved for later use. A question that typically arises is, what happens if the first cycle doesn't work? Well, it depends on what happened in the first cycle. If the cycle resulted in a good number of eggs and high quality embryos, but implantation did not occur, then the physician needs to then consider any other possibilities. For example, is the uterine cavity normal? Is there evidence of any autoimmune response that could be affecting implantation? Or are the embryos genetically not normal when they appear, at least morphologically, under a microscope to be normal? These are all factors that the reproductive endocrinologist is considering. However, rest assured that after the first cycle of IVF, even if unsuccessful, the next cycle generally results in the same success rate. It does not diminish, necessarily, just because it's the second cycle or the third cycle. There are data, however, that do suggest that with numerous failed cycles, the chances of conception do become lower and lower. It's probably not reasonable for many women, depending on their clinical situation, to do multiple cycles of in vitro fertilization as the chances of success do diminish and the potential risks of the medications increase. Many babies born by in vitro fertilization most babies born by in vitro fertilization in the world to date would never have occurred if the couple stopped at the first cycle of IVF.